Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Advanced Find feature of Outlook to find all Outlook items that belong to a particular category. You could also use the Advanced Find feature to find items in Outlook using many other advanced types of filters too. To perform an Advanced Find in Outlook, either click into the Instant Search field that appears in the Outlook folder's header pane above the list of Outlook items, or click into the Microsoft Search bar in the middle of the title bar, depending on which tool appears in the version of Outlook you are using, to display the Search Contextual tab in the ribbon, formerly called the Search tab of the Search Tools Contextual tab. If using the newer Microsoft Search, you may notice that the drop-down search box covers most of the ribbon when you click into it. To retract it and still show the Search Contextual tab, either press the Escape key on your keyboard or click into the blank area of the title bar to retract it. In all versions of Outlook, then click the Search Tools drop-down button in the Options button group on the Search Contextual tab of the ribbon. Then select the Advanced Find command from the drop-down menu that appears to open the Advanced Find dialog box. To select the type of Outlook items to find, use the Look drop-down at the top of the Advanced Find dialog box. The In field to the right shows the name of the current folder within which Outlook will search. To choose within which Outlook folders to search, click the Browse button in the upper right corner of the dialog box to open the Select Folders dialog box. In this dialog box, you can click to check the checkboxes next to the names of the folders within which to search. To also include subfolders of those selected folders within the search, check the Search Subfolders checkbox at the bottom of this dialog box. If you open the Select Folders dialog box, click the OK button within it when finished to select your search folders and return to the Advanced Find dialog box. Next, you will use one of the three tabs that appear below the Look and In fields to apply your search criteria. The name of the first tab changes to whatever you happen to have currently selected from the Look dropdown. For example, it is named Messages when Messages is the item type you selected from the Look dropdown. The other two tabs are always named the More Choices and Advanced tabs. The first tab lets you choose filtering criteria by using many common fields for the selected type of Outlook items. The More Choices tab lets you choose filtering criteria for assigned categories, message statuses, message option settings, and other advanced filtering options. The Advanced tab lets you filter by any Outlook field's value by using the Field drop-down to select any available Outlook field. Then use the Condition drop-down to select a comparison condition, and if needed, type the value to which to compare the selected field's value into the Value field. Then click the Add to List button to add it to the list box above. After creating the necessary filters on the desired tab, click the Find Now button at the right side of the Advanced Find dialog box to show the results set of the Outlook items that match the search in a window at the bottom of the dialog box. To open an Outlook item in this results set in a separate window, double-click an item in the results set. To close the Advanced Find dialog box and return to Outlook when finished, Click the X button in the upper right corner of the Advanced Find window. If needed, to close the Search Contextual tab that appears in the ribbon, you can click the Close Search button in the Close button group. Alternatively, you can also simply select a different folder in the folder pane in Outlook to close the Search Contextual tab. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.